Twilight takes a few steps, waves, then appears right next to the station. The main six leave with their saddlebags, but arrive empty-hoofed. Fame. Screwy kidnaps an unconscious filly. Mark mismatch is an omen of what's to come. Crystal Empire, ladies! This is the face of some pony often mistaken for a lady. As if this levitating pony wasn't weird enough, this pony is sitting on an invisible platform. Welcome to the Lens Flare Empire. Panning camera symbolizes a move away from Twilight and Cadence's secret hoofshake. This is the last we see of it, and by extension, all that represents Twilight Sparkle. The end is nay. Rarity's horn glows for exactly one frame. A perk of being a unicorn is not having to worry about leaving the oven on. It's a crystal mud bath. Crystal mud bath. Cadence owns a trademark on crystal products, and she's not afraid to apply it to anything and everything. Pinkie Pie! Honestly. No, laughter. Your main stylus has the flu and won't be able to make it. All of this could have been avoided had the stylus not been anti-vax. Crystal ponies randomly lose their crystalness. This eye glitch. Dash's element amulet randomly appears for one shot. Fluttershy talks without moving her mouth. Book horse reads upside down. Implying Princess Cadence is more famous than the main six. Traveler isn't suspicious of ponies promising a too-good-to-be-true tour while also taking her luggage and leading her out of public view. To introduce you to this wonderful kingdom. You'd think kingdom would be a trigger word here. And since we're not even from here ourselves... Yeah, about that. Wouldn't actual crystal ponies be better welcomers for the Crystal Empire? Using welcoming ringers probably doesn't look very good. Twilight's cutie mark finds itself on yet another pony's flank. This layering error... The inspector somehow doesn't hear this. Twilight trots this interior distance in only five seconds. Pinky steals Twilight's lower lip. This skywalk is located on the opposite side of the castle. Blanket crystal filter gives birth to crystal water, just like normal water, but shinier. Trademark Princess Cadence. Layering error causes Dash to become the size of her toy. Rainbow Dash forgets how to break, despite having plenty of time to do so. What's the point of checking there? That's where Cadence is. If Miss Harshwinny is there, well, then game over, right? Pinkie Pie frequents TV tropes. Okay. Ms. Harshwinny decides to base her unbiased decision on the account of another pony, even after hearing said pony was mistaken for herself. Harshwinny addresses a royal alicorn princess, not with respect, but with blatant rudeness. Meanwhile, in Cloudsdale, Rainbow Dash's traumatizing childhood plays out yet again in another filly's life. Fluttershy's extra nostril. Mirror Twilight is surprised by this continuity mismatch. Bottom of seats are solid, until the plot demands that they have room for a dragon to hide under. We'll still be able to come back here and watch the games when they're played. Surely an event with this much buildup wouldn't be a typical Spike episode, right? Cadence would be so glad to hear that. I'm surprised she knows anything about me at all. We got the wrong pony? I was just treated to the warmest, funnest, most fabulous reception I ever had.